Welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, hello, my name is Amy. Today we have some unboxings to do actually. All of this. Also, we have right here some of the newest merchandise from Samorga. This portion of the video is sponsored by Samorga. Thank you very much for being amazing partners with me. Of course, you guys already know that they have organizers, but I will tell you why I got this in a moment. If you follow their Instagram, then you probably know what this is because it came out maybe like late last year. It allows you to store the straps on your bags very neatly on top of your bags without damaging your bags. And it's pretty simple. You just wrap around all the straps that you have on top of your bag and it sits on top of your bag without scratching your bag. On my shelf, I would just leave the, the chains down like this and it's fine. Like there's nothing wrong with that if you um, if you rotate your bags often or if you're maybe grabbing this bag every day. But if you're storing your bags for the long term and you want them to be neat, especially if you have several of them, you see how I tucked it on top. Just gonna close it up now and just velcro it shut. The parts of the chain here doesn't really touch the leather. Um, it's just enough that it doesn't touch the leather. See, it doesn't touch the leather at all. It just kind of sits on top. Even the top here, like it hardly just like grazes the top of the bag. Now I don't recommend this product for every single bag because some bags just don't need it and even Samorga says it themselves. You don't need it for the Coco handle, you don't need it for the Trendy CC, you don't need it for the Chanel 19 because those bags you can easily detach or you can easily tuck in the chains from the side into the bag because there's definitely enough room. But for the classic flop you can't, right? I mean you can but I prefer not to tuck the chains through here because there's really not there's really not enough room to get through you see like with all the felt material and everything and plus i guess my bag is pretty new even this side you can't really find that much space i also love 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 that for my gabrielle always get asked how do you store the gabrielle to prevent it from sagging, from creasing, and also just from wear and tear because we all know that the Gabrielle is made with the distressed calf skin and that it is prone to sinking. I did mention in the past that I did not use an organizer for my Gabrielle and I still think that for the small, you can get away with it for the short term, for the first year maybe. For the long term, I will suggest an organizer. So I finally got myself one for this bag. And I, I honestly think that this bag is amazing to use without one and I feel the same way about the 19. I don't use the organizer when I'm using the bag, but I do leave it in when I'm storing the bag because that's when all the gravity happens you without even knowing it. So for storage and maybe even sometimes for using the bag while I'm traveling, I will leave the organizer in there. I have two Gabrielles, so I have this one which is my oldest one and also the one that I use the most and therefore I definitely want to start protecting it. My burgundy one is still in amazing shape as you can see it looks brand new because it pretty much is. Um, I've only used this one a handful of times since I normally just grab the black one but as you can see if i really did you know end up using this bag as much as i did the the black one it would become the 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 wear and tear of the black one eventually right so i can start preventing that right from the get-go just to show you the difference because you guys might be interested in either of these two colors i will link it down below so this is just their more vibrant red color and this is their more burgundy wine color. Even though this is exactly the same thickness of felt, I will say that between these two colors, that this burgundy color does have more structure. Like the actual two millimeter felt of this feels stiffer, whereas the red color feels a bit more softer. Um, yeah, to the touch, even this one feels a bit rougher. So if you want even more structure, even though you're buying the same organizer, but you just want a slightly more stiffer organizer, get this color because this color just feels more sturdy. I don't know if you can tell. Probably not, but I'm telling you the, the, the burgundy darker color one just feels more structured. So that's why I keep this one in the black one because my black one is a bit more... It's a bit more old, right? But for the burgundy one, it's fine. I can just 
start putting this one in there fits in perfectly no gaps or anything and it just even brightens the interior which is nice because um yeah it's just nice it's just nice to have not only a uh, felt organizer in there to just protect the lining you still have access to all the original pockets plus the additional pockets from the organizer and the zipper pocket here but um, you also protect the inside. So this bag will stay pretty much brand new for a long time. You can see it's it sits right here on the strongest part of the bag. So the weight is well distributed and no chains in a weird place. And if you're not really rotating your bags often or you just like to have all your chains tucked away super neatly. If you're interested in either of these products, I will link the exact link to the product that I have, as well as the color that I chose them in, and that way you can easily find it. And also you can use my coupon code to save 20% at checkout. So none of these are part of the current collection, which is 22P. No, I was really, really good this season. I did not end up buying anything, although I wanted, but I just, uh, well, first of all, I couldn't get my hands on anything that I wanted and everything else was just sort of like, mm, I'll wait for next season maybe. So, But I did find at least uh, one item that is part of the classic collection. So this is not from the current collection either. It's from the classic line. And I, um, yeah, I just went for it because I remember seeing this... Um, I remember seeing this in store recently and I sort of like passed on it because I was like, oh, I already have something similar, different color. So of course it is more, more jewelry. I mean, you guys already know these unboxings, right? The the shape of the boxes. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm, I'm just glad I went for it. So yes, I finally added these beautiful dangling silver earrings. And these ones have the rhinestones. I honestly don't know why I never bought them. I think I saw them maybe once in the past, like a long time ago, and I passed on them and they never reappeared. I think that's one reason, of course. Um, and maybe the other reason I always thought that they were too expensive and they are expensive. I'm gonna share the price, um, even though these ones are classic, so you can find it on the website, the, the listing. You can't buy it on the website, but you can still at least see that the product exists on the website. So you can see the price there in your local country. Um, but I decided to, you know what, I've waited long enough and I finally, you know, saw it again years later. So I just went for them because I love silver on me. I'm, I'm so pale in general that silver just brightens me up me even more than gold i like that these ones have the rhinestones so they are actually even more bling when i um when i need to like dress up because these are quite dressy and i honestly will wear them anytime but they are so pretty i'm i'm just glad that i finally have them since these are classic you can um possibly trace them so you could always ask your essay these are um, not $1,041 uh, and change. So pretty expensive. So this is the amount with tax here. So yeah, they are expensive. They're very expensive, but I just, oh, I just, I just can't. I just had to get them. Okay, up next we have this box right here. This is not a true unboxing. I always check my items when I come home anyway, so it's not technically a true unboxing, but I did get it in January. This was part of their sales um, items, and for some reason our sales so for some reason, our sales are getting weirder and weirder. It used to be on Boxing Day, but this past year they've delayed it even more and it only started, I don't know, like a week or two after the new year. So it was quite late and I almost gave up on any like sale items, even though everyone else was posting and vlogging about the sale items. But here we have another piece of costume jewelry. So I've always been, um, well, I guess you never knew that because I've never really talked about it, but 
I have a long necklace from Chanel, but I always felt that maybe I bought the wrong one, which is why I'm selling my old one, the one that is more spaced out. I felt that I bought the wrong design because that one has a more casual spaced out look. So the pearls are more spaced out um, and it's really gorgeous, but I, I always just put it on and took it out right away because it's not really the look that I was going for. Cause if I'm gonna wear pearls, I want it to be so classic and so, madame you know so like so lady and i think this is the answer i hope so anyway so this one is a full pearl strand these beautiful sort of rhinestone and it has like a chanel um chanel on it on the on the metal details and it has these cc's and just different uh, size pearls they are small pearls, but they are different size and it is a full strand, which is why I think this is really what I was supposed to get when I got my first one. I was supposed to really just go for a more full strand one. With this one, I like that I can double it up super easily. It can also be more layered like three times. Hopefully I can do it in front of the camera here. This one, you won't be able to find it anymore, but I'll still link the style code. Uh, it was from 20A, so yeah, it's from the Métier d'Art 2020 collection. So right here we have a pair of shoes. I love it when I get shoes on sale. I love it when I get shoes in general, but I love it when I get it on sale. And these are amazing, 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 beautiful shoes dust bags there's two of them to reveal oh you can see to reveal this beautiful boot so I fell in love with these the moment I saw them these are so gorgeous. So they are a dark gray suede fabric and really cute almond toe, but all the details are in the back. So you see the heel part is so gorgeous. We have some CC chains and this part is so cool. It's sort of like a, I don't know how to describe it, but it has these lines on it that runs horizontally it has a big CC logo on top and this chunky heel is very comfortable because it's so chunky though uh, so even though the height is more than I usually like I don't I can't wear high heel shoes anymore not like I used to be but because they are chunky heels they feel very stable and uh, very comfortable um, and so I took them home they are just gorgeous gorgeous boots so this is my second pair of Chanel boots my other pair is more of a wintery boot because it's more robust and uh, the vibe is also more casual whereas these ones are a little bit more dressy and they are so comfortable it's very plush and everything These boots um, probably sold out by now as well, but these boots are from 20B, so from um, Fall Winter Act 1 of 2020. And yeah, the official color is dark gray. I also got these cards. So I got this one, um, I think I got this one in the mail 
from my Chanel essay and I thought it was just so pretty so I just wanted to show you how pretty it is. Can... This card is very nice. It has like embroidered Chanel letters on it. You guys see it? I also got this card. This was more recent but it's from the Lunar New Year and I got this more recently because uh, yeah, that's when I bought my earrings and I haven't opened it yet. It's got like the the flowers and the trees and then you get the tiger on top because it's the year of tigers. That's how it looks like. Last but not least, I received this package from Kat. Oh, her packages are always so whimsical and fun and just very thoughtful. So she got me a card, which I haven't opened. I wanted to do it live on a video. <laughs> she did a little mistake. I, it happens to me too. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, talk about details. Look. How beautiful is that? It's 3D or 2D, 3D, oh 2D, yeah this is 2D. This is also worth framing. <laughs> we have got lots of cards worth framing. We have the famous masks, ah so cute! Oh and some Chanel, okay so let's take a look at the masks first. I love my Doriamon mask. I still have um, a few that she gave me the first time. I do use them very sparingly because I want to make sure that I still have them for a while which is why I uh, am very conservative when I use these masks and also I've started double masking so this will be perfect for me to just wear on top and these are so cute even my my nephew loves them but he's too small he can't wear the regular size ones and these are so ladylike and very very fancy schmancy. These are a lace detail. Actually, oh yeah, I think it's just printed on but the printing is so fancy. It's like, it's so nice and it's very soft. It feels like fabric. Thank you, babe. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Like, just imagine me in this mask. There is two of these pins, a small and a bigger box from Chanel here. The packaging is so neat and so cute. Like, you know, the ways that the essays do the bows are just so amazing. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, so this color is number f uh this color is five lively rosewood so for those of you who are especially if you just need to like really quickly put some makeup on in the car it like it happens to me quite often actually oh this is mm. it's very mild scent it's it's really pleasant and this is the color let's see what's in here the wrapping is just so wonderful. So we have Quadra eyeshadow in 747 Mediterranean, limited edition. So there we have it, that's the packaging. So let's look at how the color looks like. I don't wear eyeshadows but I might have to because I heard great things about this. Oh the packaging is so wonderful, it's like, it's just like the mirror. It's gold. It's not like the mirror. The mirror is white. So this is the mirror. It's white. With all my finger. <laughs> and this is the gold. Wow. This is so pretty. Wow. The colors are just... <gasps> wow. So th these colors are all like the gold. You see how like it's all the gold, rose gold, brown, bronze. It's so pretty. Thank you, babe. So this pretty much concludes the last bit of the unboxings. Thank you so much 
all for watching. If you're new to my channel and you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you back. I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.